It's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? What's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. No, thank you. What's your business, stranger? Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Keep your hands in sight and don't make any sudden moves. I'm coming down to open the gate. Hannibal is upstairs somewhere. I'm locking the door behind you, so don't try anything. I'm watching you. Don't you be stopping here, mister. You got to talk to hell first. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. I'm not going to ask you who you are. Uh, for the moment, I don't care. We are all escaped slaves. I need your solemn promise not to betray us to Paradise Falls or the slavers. Until I get that, you cannot leave here. So, do I have your word? Welcome, brother, to the Temple of the Union. Our home is your home. Your past is your own affair, so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. For 23 years, I was a slave. Ever since I was 14. Six years ago, I managed to escape from my master. He's been hunting me ever since. When I found the head of Lincoln here, I knew it was a sign for me to help other slaves to escape. I founded the Temple of the Union as a safe haven for runaway slaves everywhere. We are trying to make a safe haven for all runaway slaves. We give food and supplies to any that find us and help them on their way. What? That's Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator. We don't know how it came to be here, but it's fitting, don't you think? We are trying to... We don't have enough room. There's not enough water or food here. But I have a plan. A plan to take over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope for all slaves.
I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. I've heard rumors of super mutants infesting that area, though. We need to send someone to check that out first. I was hoping you would help us. The memorial is easy to find. Good luck. One other thing. Talk to Caleb. He'll need your help. We can't leave unless he's ready, too. Haven't you been listening? That's Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator. He was a stonemason. It will fall to him to restore the memorial as best he can. He's been pestering me for weeks now to get him some things he needs. I don't have time to deal with him right now. May the spirit of the great Lincoln protect you. You don't look like much, stranger. Bet you run from rad roaches. I'm Simone Cameron. Don't fuck with me. Hannibal says I can't shoot you, but I ain't trusting you with a gun to my back. Goddamn rookie. That's Lincoln. He freed some slaves a long time ago. If you want to know more, come listen to Hannibal give his speech. He does it right after the noon meal. Not for long. Me and my Merc crew were captured by slavers. Seven months, I groveled and obeyed like a good lapdog. When I saw my chance, I took it. I had nowhere else to go. Hannibal took me in. He never cared about my past. I shoot nosy people. What the hell do you think I do? I protect this place. Don't let me stop you. breaking into that. We are grateful for any help you can give us. My name is Bill. Bill Seward, if you please, sir. That's Lincoln, sir. Hannibal found it. He wants to put it back, sir. I don't really understand why. Oh, yes. All my life. One day, I killed the master's little girl. It was an accident, I swear. I... I ran away. They would never have believed me. Hannibal found me. I would never have made it without him. A bit of this and a bit of that. Whatever Mr. Hannibal needs. I look after the animals, cook our meals, clean up, things like that. Yes, sir. There. Hannibal says you're on our side. My name is Alejandra. He is the great emancipator. He freed all the slaves over a hundred years before the bombs dropped. Hannibal wants to make his memorial a symbol of hope and freedom for all slaves. Yes, for four years. I was young and pretty. I don't need to tell you what my duties were. He liked me enough to educate me. I learned reading, history, math, and even some science. When my master married, his wife insisted I get sold. Hannibal bought me and freed me. I'm an historian. I also tinker with pre-war machines. My dream is to build a shrine to the great Abraham Lincoln. Take care of yourself. You're new. I'm Caleb. If you're going to be staying a while, I could use some help. Hannibal told you about Lincoln's memorial? Well, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. Make it so people tell stories about it and the word can get to the slaves. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. I need a drawing, a photograph of it. Yes. There might be one in the Museum of History. Alejandra says they have a special exhibit all about Lincoln. The stone head is from the statue of Abraham Lincoln. Hannibal wants me to reattach it to the statue in the memorial. 
Long time ago. Eight years, I think. Three of us escaped during the night. They caught Lysel and John. I made it into the wasteland. Raiders took me in at first. When I heard about this place, I knew I had to come here. My former master trained me in masonry. I fix things. Someday I hope to reattach Lincoln's head to the statue in the memorial. Okay.
You have a picture. And such a large one, too. I'll have no problems restoring the memorial with this. Thank you. Okay. That's close enough. What the hell are you doing wandering around here? Curiosity can get a Wastelander killed. I'm going to let you through, but you'll have to talk to Mr. Walker first. Follow me. Oh, and stay off the memorial steps. They have orders to shoot anyone that gets too close. The dirt path is safe. I'm Leroy Walker, and you're probably wondering about what we're doing here. You're a sharp one. We're from Paradise Falls. We're hunting runaway slaves. Have you seen any? You are really starting to piss me off. Lucky for you, I don't have time to give you an attitude adjustment. Just answer one question and you can go. What do you know about the Temple of the Union? Then I'm just going to have to kill you. Now, now there was, there no, was no call, call for that. Ah.
and we are grateful for any help you can give us. Everything is done? I can hardly believe it. We are finally going to realize the dream. We'll start out within the hour. We'll meet you at the site. We've got to get those slavers cleared out of the memorial. I'm sure Hannibal is cooking up a plan. What are we going to do? You have been good to your word. You are welcome at the Temple of the Union anytime. Take these schematics as a token of our gratitude. His real voice? How is that possible? I must have it. I'll give you 50 caps for it. We will enshrine this right away. Yeah, see ya. Those slavers have captured great the memorial. to see you again.
Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes.